going on guys? Matt Downs with Trick Tennis. Today I am going to talk to you about my favorite haul of all time to build out. Now if you're looking for a boat and you don't know which one you should get, you're looking to do a John boat to bass boat conversion, well this is the haul right here that you should buy. This thing is sick, it's not that expensive and you can get a really nice one and it will last you a really long time. I'm going to turn this camera around, I'm going to give you guys a walk through of this boat, tell you what I think about it, what I would do to it and why I think it is the best candidate for a John boat to bass boat conversion. Let's get right into it. All right, so here it is, guys. It's a well built 1548. It's a 2004. It's brand new. The customer just picked it up. He brought it to me, and we're getting ready to do a full build on this. Now, the reason that I think this boat is probably your best candidate, not only does it look sick, but it's very well constructed. It's solid welded. There's no rivets in the boat at all, and it's a good platform for a solid foundation. To start your build on. I mean, these ribs are heavy duty. You can see everything is nice and welded. I mean, for about $3,000, this is a perfect hull to start building with. The look of it is just super sick too. I mean, it looks super aggressive. The only thing I don't really like about these are these top runnels right here. These are round pipe, and I like to put like a rectangular tube over top of those, but either way, I mean, for what's out there in that price range, it's gonna be hard to beat. The way this one's set up with this center bench seat, I would not recommend that you get, unless you really want to have that bench seat in there. They sell these things any way you want them. Now, I would recommend that you just get it with this small deck platform right here. This is an extended deck. The customer got this. I don't know if he pre-ordered it like this or if it was just one they had on a lot, but it does have an extended front deck with a hatch in here. And nothing against this hatch, but it's kind of thin. I don't think it's going to hold up. The corners of it aren't welded and it's only three-sided so you know over time stepping up here I see a lot of these they start to bow down pretty bad so I would not recommend that I would do all the building myself if I would get one of these don't get the middle bench seat in here either and that way you have a wide open floor plan you have the ability to figure out how big of a floor you want in here you're kind of limited with this bench in here and honestly this thing's not gonna hold up and last over the years the front end on these boats is probably my favorite front end of any boat I've ever seen. They look super aggressive. I mean, it's very cool. The way this thing is put together, it's strong. You can see it's got all these points up here, comes to a sharp nose, and then up underneath it here where the winch eye is, they've got a reinforced plate behind it. So they've done a lot of thinking about how to put this thing together. And it's definitely a sweet hole. It's got a big front deck on it just from the factory without this extension i mean this is still it's wide the way that these well builts flare out on the sides it really makes the boat seem a lot bigger than it is i mean for a 48 wide you know you got a whole lot more room across this top deck you're looking at like 65 inches across the back back there it's definitely a pretty wide boat the beam is actually like 67 inches from top to top so you got a lot of room in there and they're very stable. I fish out of a lot of different John boats. I'm a tall guy, I'm 6'6", and I like to have something that's a little more stable. I would not recommend anything smaller than the 48 wide, but even the 1448s are very stable in the well-built models. So this is definitely my number one pick and top candidate. If you're looking to do a John boat to bass boat conversion, these things are very reliable. They're heavy duty, yet still lightweight, and they're affordable. If you guys are looking for one of these, there's a couple marinas around here near me. Sports Marina is one that sells a bunch of these boats, but you can just look up Well Built online. They can direct you to a dealer near you, and I think you'd be pretty happy with one of these holes to start your build with. All right, so that's my two cents on what boat I think you should look for if you're going to start a John boat to bass boat conversion. Now, you need to start with a welded hull. That's my number one thing. You gotta start with a good foundation. You don't have to use a well built. I like well builds because the price point and they're pretty easy to work on, but there's a lot of different welded boat companies out there and I suggest that you look into them if you're thinking about making the move and getting into one of these 10 rigs. Now, they're a lot of fun. You can get into different areas you can't get into with your bigger bass boats. Plus, they're a whole lot cheaper. I appreciate you guys watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see y'all next time. Let's get back to work.